Hey guys, so I got this laptop a couple of months ago and I did make a first impression video of this but after using it for about two months, now I thought I should share my user experience in depth about this laptop. I'm going to talk about its build and design, keyboard and trackpad, display, speakers, performance and battery life. So let's begin. Subscribe to my channel for latest updates and continuous support and also hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's start off with build and design. In terms of looks, it looks pretty average and feels cheap in the hand because it is all plastic and at 2.4 kg, carrying it around is no fun. There is nothing really much to say about its design because it is pretty generic. In terms of build quality, it is all plastic so definitely it feels cheap and you may also see some flexing if you put enough pressure and the, the trackpad seems to be a bit fragile too but there is nothing really to worry about because most of these laptops that come at this price point are basically made like this so they are going to last but obviously you don't feel anything premium about this laptop just like those that come with aluminum build and stuff so considering the price it does have a decent build quality now talking about connectivity and ports it ticks all the boxes but one strange thing that i found about this laptop is that most of the ports are given at the back which is really strange so you may or may not get used to this on the brighter side of things the keyboard is pretty spacious and well laid out it does give you a pretty good feedback and it has a decent key travel typing on this keyboard has been a good experience and it does come with a numpad so for productivity junkies it is going to be a huge help trackpad is pretty important in a laptop and it doesn't really disappoint here with its multi gesture features like uh, scrolling and zooming and pinching Especially with the Edge browser, it feels like a breeze browsing on this laptop and as you can see, it does work flawlessly. So that's another good thing going for it. Talking about its display, it has pretty decent viewing angles and the screen is of decent quality but the screen seems to be a bit reflective. It is not a pixel heavy display but you will not have problem unless you are spoiled with some high pixel density displays in the past. Now talking about its sound quality and speakers, this is definitely one of the loudest speakers I have ever seen on a laptop and uh, you can definitely enjoy movies and music with it. So let's do a small test here. Talking about its performance, it makes up for all its shortcomings with its performance which is one of the main reasons I bought this laptop for and it hasn't really disappointed me here. Now I'm going to open up some tabs in the browser and let me show you how this performs so you can be the judge. So here as you can see I am opening up this YouTube on one tab and on the other you have the Engadget which is one of the heavy websites and uh, I'm also going to open some articles in Yahoo and uh, let's see how this performs in real time. So as you can see it is uh, pretty smooth and uh, fluid in terms of performance and I'm basically using the multi gestures and scrolling is pretty smooth as well. It doesn't really seem to slow down but when I'm clicking on a new tab it takes small delay around some milliseconds while opening up a new tab but it is not a big deal and it performs pretty good. 
Now let's open up the Chrome browser which is known to be a memory hog and resource hungry app and let's see how this is going to perform. Do note that all the tabs are running in the Edge browser as you can see. So I'm going to minimize that and uh, open the Chrome browser and uh, open up YouTube. So you can see it doesn't seem to slow down. I don't find any lag. The scrolling still feels smooth and the animations are stutter free. Switching tabs is a smooth affair as well and uh, if you are a light to moderate user you will have a great time using this laptop and it does not disappoint you. Talking about my usage, I mostly use it for web browsing, YouTube and uh, some video editing. So it has not really disappointed me in all those areas. So definitely it is pretty good in terms of performance with its i3 6th gen processor and uh, 4GB DDR4 memory. So as you can see on the screen, there is a video running in the background and still it doesn't seem to slow down. There are a bunch of websites loaded up in couple of browsers so it does not slow it down so definitely you can expect some pretty good performance out of this so definitely a big thumbs up in terms of performance for those who are curious you can also see the memory and cpu usage in the task manager so the memory is at about 90 percent and uh, you can also see all the processes that are being open so this is just to give you an idea about how this laptop is running right now with all the applications open. Now let us talk about its battery life. The battery life has been decent for my usage and my usage includes as I said video editing and uh, YouTube and uh, web browsing and uh, so far it has been giving me about three and a half hours of uh, usage with the brightness set at about 30 to 40 percent and mostly the Wi-Fi is turned on now you can also see the battery analytics here you can see the display takes up most of the battery so it should last you around three to three and a half hours depending on your usage so overall it is a good laptop for those budget conscious users and uh, considering its price to performance ratio. So I hope you found this video helpful or informative. It took a full day to produce this video. So please like this video if you found this helpful. And thanks for watching guys. Subscribe, like, share and comment. I'll see you soon.